We thought it was crazy, but we didn't know how to get out. We didn't know how to get help. We didn't know how to get in touch with anyone. All I knew to do was to ask for a higher level physician, which I did persistently. In Lewis's case, his mother was with him virtually the entire time while he was hospitalized, and she kept asking for help. And no senior physician came in a timely way. The lesson for this for other patients and families is to know where the buck stops, who to call, how to reach them, and to have the courage to act, to follow their gut instinct, just in case. If we don't talk about our mistakes, we're doomed to repeat them over and over and over again. So we have to have transparency and admit that we made a mistake in order to know what to do to try and prevent that mistake from happening again. And if we don't do that, shame upon us. Transparent Health is proud to present the first in a series of 12 educational videos Using actual cases where medical care caused patient harm, each video in the series will address two important issues in healthcare today. How caregivers respond in the face of harm caused by medical error, and the ways to prevent future medical harm altogether. Utilizing an educational platform, each video models the compassionate, open dialogue needed to avoid repetition of medical mistakes in similar situations as the cases presented in our series could have happened in any health system, to any caregiver, to any patient. Our goal is to continue the call for open, honest, and effective communication between caregivers and their patients and families after harm occurs, so the process of healing and closure can occur for all. Hello, I'm Lucian Leap, adjunct professor of health policy at Harvard School of Public Health. The cases highlighted in our series could have happened in any health system or to any caregiver. These particular cases were chosen both because they illustrate events that are still too common and because they provide critical learning opportunities for improvement. Our first case involves a young boy, Lewis Blackman. Lewis' story provides a number of important learning opportunities for caregivers, patients, and their families. We hope that by the end of Lewis' story, you will have a better overall understanding of these important safety issues, how to recognize them, and most of all, how to prevent them from occurring again. This is on us. What happened to Lewis, we need to own that. Patients and families, we can tell them all these things that they should do, but ultimately, it's our responsibility. I think one of the most important points that we could take around these types of cases is while they're very unfortunate and we need to learn from them, it's also very important that we do the correct thing after the fact. What do we do um, defines who we are as providers and professional caregivers really helps promote healing, it helps bring closure, and it's an important part of, of health care that's been lacking for many years. The disclosures that occur go beyond just, you know, me to you or me to the patient and family. It's our institution to other institutions and to the medical community as a whole for people to understand these are the kinds of things, just like in, in Lewis's case, these are the kinds of things that can happen in any hospital. If Lewis had been anywhere but in the hospital, he would be alive today. He died because he was in the hospital. It was the one place we could not get him the medical attention he needed. The personal experience of others can change us all. The remarkable ability of the patients and families highlighted in our series to share their stories of loss as a way to give back to the healthcare community in order to prevent future harm is extraordinary. While prevention of patient harm is the primary goal of our mission, creating a culture of caring and compassion for the patients, families, and caregivers after harm has occurred is an integral piece of how we can improve the systems in which we work. We hope this educational video series provides a meaningful contribution to this important mission. The faces of medical error, from tears to transparency, 
the story of Lewis Blackman.